Hey, Connecticut hockey family. Welcome to one of two special episodes showcasing some important members of the Connecticut hockey community. Every week, youth hockey coaches across Connecticut help young players develop both as athletes and as people. And this season, Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey is recognizing coaches who go the extra mile with our inaugural Impact Coach of the Year Award, Connecticut Hockey Conference participants nominated several standout coaches. And now we are going to be profiling the two coaches selected as the finalists. In this episode, we're getting to know Coach Sean Hanna, Yale Youth Hockey's Learn to Skate Director and Director of the Eaton Under A, B, and House programs. Coach Sean is special because he never gives up. He helps you with your teammates. He made us be like really kind to each other. Funny sometimes jokes a lot. He's always telling us inspiring things and he's always giving us great hockey tips. He'll get down on their level and um, he doesn't say very much but what he says seems to stick. Sean is known as the hockey whisperer among parents because of his ability to motivate the kids, to command their respect, all without um, ever raising his voice. Coach Sean is special because he doesn't yell at us. If we make a mistake on the ice, he doesn't get mad, he just helps us back up. He's always helping us um, what we do wrong and he always makes it right. He's been with us for 10 years. He somewhat led the resurgence of Yale Youth Hockey. He attracts a lot of young players. He's always available to work with our older players and he's a confidant of mine. The hockey started at a very early age for me in a small town in Western Canada. And uh, then hockey brought me to Cornell University. I played college hockey there and had a sip of coffee in the American Hockey League and played a season of professional hockey in, uh, in the East Coast League for the Knoxville Cherokees. Once my playing days were over, I knew I wanted to stay involved in the game and if I couldn't play, another opportunity to be involved would be to coach. I was fortunate to get a position as the head coach at Sacred Heart University. Served in that role for 13 years and in 2009 decided that I needed to step away and spend more time with my children and my growing family and was fortunate to uh, land a position here at Yale. Sean has such a great way with young kids. Uh, it's, that's not something that comes easy to everybody and it's especially difficult for coaches who have coached at a high level such as college like Sean has so the fact that he can take the knowledge that he has at such a high level of hockey and translate it into a language that can be understood by four, five, six, seven, eight year olds but do it in a fun way so the kids don't even really know that they're learning. He's very well organized. He knows how to group in lots of kids all going in different directions and getting them all focused on what they have to do for each individual drill. I would say what makes um, Coach Sean effective on the ice is um, his attention to detail, um, making sure that um, the technique and the skill is done properly, and um, stopping the kids, having them start over, and he has a way of doing that where the kids really um, respond and listen. He helps me be a better hockey player by teaching me drills that I don't know yet. I like his drills a lot. At my first practice, he taught me how to pass. Taught me how to hop. He taught me how to score. He gives us strategies to use in a game or a practice. He's always happy. He's never sad. And he'll never tell you you did that wrong. He'll, he'll give you tips of how to get better on doing that. At this level, at the U8 level, there's a high focus on fundamental skill development. So the fundamentals of stick handling, passing, shooting, skating. But there are other skills that we want to develop in these young hockey players. We take a three-prong approach to that. One, we want them to learn how to listen. We want them to be able to watch. And, and then we want to teach them how to work hard at doing things properly. Those are three skills, I think, that are important for a, a child to learn, not just for hockey, but for life. He has an amazing ability to observe the kids skating or shooting or whatever and he can spot something that needs improvement and then he has a very good way of encouraging the kid to improve. When the practice is over he'll go up to every kid, shake their hand and they look him in the eye and shake his hand and he will tell each one of them something great that they did that day with an amazing amount of specificity. Coach Sean has taught me to keep on trying and um, like if I get something wrong, keep on trying until I get it. He has like, like this positive attitude, like sure you could do this, you could do this. And I think that's translated to um, other aspects of Harley's um, 
school and, and outside of hockey. He's been coaching my kids for the last eight years and he has taught them how to be tremendous individuals on the ice, on the field, in home, in school. He teaches them how to look at the glass half full, to continue to try and work really hard at everything they do. I think that, you know, Sean has taught them that no matter what you do, you, you try your hard if you win or lose. Um, you know, sort of the old, it's how you play the game. Um, he never wants those kids to, you know, do something that they're not proud of. Well, developing character and developing young people to be better people is something that's near and dear to our heart here. And, and the best teacher of those things is hockey. And I think a couple of fundamental things that we try to emphasize at this level is, is respect. And we don't stand on a soapbox and talk to the kids about respecting everything and, and what respect means, but we try to, try to identify those instances and those opportunities during a practice in a game. And through the skills, I think, that they're learning, they're also learning respect. So if, if they're learning how to listen to their coach, they're learning how to respect their coach. And we hope that they take that to the classroom at school or take it to the playground where if there's a, a grown-up speaking to them that they listen and they have their eyes on them and they're paying attention. Teamwork comes through hockey as well. Uh, one thing that's important to us is being able to pass the puck. And if they do receive a good pass from their teammate and they do score, just make sure when he gets back to the bench, we say, hey, did you thank Billy for that great pass? It was right on your stick. So again, reinforcing those positive things and, and helping them to learn to be good teammates and from that, you know, we hope that they become good friends and, and know how to be good friends and good brothers and good sisters and that sort of thing. My uh, three boys all started here and, and learned to skate with Sean. All are performing extremely well as young men as well as hockey players. I give a lot of credit to Sean and what Sean has taught me and what Sean has taught all of our coaches. Okay, Connecticut Hockey family, now it's your turn. Voting is open on our website, so head over to gottolovecthockey.org to help choose which coach will be crowned Connecticut Hockey's 2019 Impact Coach of the Year. Then stay tuned to find out who wins because these special coaches are one more reason why you just gotta love Connecticut Hockey.